What's good everybody? My name is Alchemy. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be demonstrating some stuff that you can do on your iPhone. Yes, I said iPhone or on your iPad. <clears throat> Everything that I'm going to be showing you today except for this guy, which is Egoist, is available for iOS, but as you'll see that it's actually a relatively arbitrary step in all the cool things that I'm going to be showing you. So. We're not really going to be talking about how I built this percussive generator because I've already got videos on my channel on how to do this, but basically if I hit notes it's going to create realistic sounding drums. Sometimes real anyways. You can see that it's always random. But what I really want to talk about today is actually this guy because what this guy does, the buffer repeat, is a very handy thing for making loops that are relatively consistent and something that we can use as a groove builder or a groove starter if you will. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do the exact same thing where I hit a couple of notes and then I'm actually going to use the freeze and then I'll explain what's going on. So check this out. So now that we have this, I hit the freeze, it actually just captured that last couple of, I don't know, maybe half of a second or so and what we can do with this is utilize this in order to make this repeat in a way that's rhythm, uh, rhythmic. So check this out. And so you can hear that this is jumping around in different ways and what's going on here is actually the LFOs randomizing this. And if you don't know what this program is, it's called Drambo. It's basically a pocket faceplant slash bitwig slash Ableton. If you're accustomed to working in a device menu like this from left to right, then you'll be right at home with doing cool things within Drambo. Um, can you believe that this is for your phone slash iPad? It's freaking nuts. But anyways, what we're doing is use a lot, utilizing this buffer repeat in order to get basically rhythmic patterns that are relatively simple. And this is cool because we can actually hit this record button right here over at the top left. And I'm going to turn this back up. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit play and this is going to start recording. So now that that's done, this actually recorded and saved to our library. And now that we have that, we actually have a WAV file and we can do lots of cool stuff with this. But what I want to do now is we're gonna go to this Egoist thing right here. And I'm gonna show you how this can scale because what this is is basically a slicer. And as you can probably guess where this is going, you can create this infinite loop of creative inspiration from creating something from any of this stuff, taking Foley or whatever, tossing it into something like this, or utilizing the percussive generator that I just made, and then toss it back into the buffer, and then toss it back into something like Egoist or some kind of sampler or whatever, and just get like a heyday with all different kinds of percussive generative things that you can use to start your tracks with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go into Sugar Bites A, we're gonna go into Empty, and what I'm going to do on this guy, it's kind of cumbersome to kind of get this to start in the way that I want it to. So we're going to make sure that that's on external. And then I'm going to scroll down and go to pattern one. We're going to go to part one and make sure that this is in, yeah, all these things are on one. And the reason why is because usually this has a tendency to go to five. So what we're going to do now is we're going to import what we just recorded. <coughs> So we'll go Drambo, Samples, Recordings, go all the way down to 1258. It is late here, but that's okay, because we're having fun, right? And what this will do is this will slice this for you. So we can hit random, create random slices and stuff. And this will actually not play. 
well now it is but usually if it's over to the left it will turn it down all the way so we want this to be over to the right and now what we can do is we can hit randomize on all this stuff and now that this is playing we can turn the buffer back on and get different stuff again And what I love about this is that it's stretching the audio like as if it were in repitch mode. And as you can see, whenever we hit stop, we now have a brand new loop that we have stuff with in order to create cool stuff. So I'm gonna turn that back off. And now what we can do with this is a couple of things. We can import this back in Egoist and keep getting cool stuff. We can run this through a bunch of effects and like, you know, get even more cool stuff. Or something else that we can do is we can start thinking about efficient ways to get this into the DAW. So something that I have been using a lot of lately, actually on every track, I recently reviewed Life. I have a video on something that I did probably before this video gets up, but because we can utilize this as a cloud, we can actually just import that audio file into the cloud. So this is at 102. <clears throat> we'll just do that. We'll take 15 seconds of this. So maybe whatever looks like it has the most movement. We'll go next go random data-driven pants. <laughs> That's pretty funny. And go save. And now this is going to upload to the cloud. So what's sick about this is we can move that back sideways for one. Maybe. Get out of that. Go back into Drambo. We'll, we can return to that later, perhaps. Maybe not. But what we can do is switch over to Bitwig Studio and pull up our Life plugin. And so what's cool about this is you can see that there's a couple that I don't have. We can download this to the cloud <clears throat> and then go OK. And now what this will do is pretty much recut this up in different patterns and ways that are going to uh, give us cool stuff. Sorry, I needed to make sure that this was recording, that the screen recording didn't uh, freeze. But now check this out. Isn't that sick? And so what we can do with this is have Rolling Sampler up. Seems like an awful lot of work, but it is really fun to do. And we can hit stop on this. And even though I haven't done any processing to these drums, which I most likely would, let's say I wanted to try to start, you know, a cool swanky beat, I can just listen to this. And we can take a piece of this. I'm going to hit Command-J. I'm going to right-click this. I'm going to normalize it. And we can start to stretch this out in a way that's going to create a riff for us. So I'm going to hit Loop right here. And now check this out. Maybe what I can do is set this to repitch mode. I like that. And we can just start to create new rhythms with this. 
holy cow, I just realized that the new beta is supportive of the new refresh rate, and that's like throwing me off, but boy, does that look nice. So we can just do a very simple call and response, kind of like this, and check this out. something like this. If we don't like this one, we can take that and kind of move this over to the side. Maybe create something kind of like this. That's actually pretty cool. Maybe we can use a frequency shifter. Let's use a convolution reverb. also be really cool is let's move this over let's move this over a little bit too so You can see here that we can just create tons of different rhythms and things out of this just from this. But I love this because as we can tell, like I'm starting with this from the iPad, right? If we go back to this here, then I'm making different kinds of weird and funky sounds and uh, utilizing this to create this network of tools that start talking to each other. I do wish that Drambo had a way to have access to like a timeline it does have a sequencer built into it, which is pretty nice. So you can do stuff like this to where you can record patterns and whatnot. But the problem is that I can't just drag audio into this. And there's not really a whole lot of options that provide like a good means of like a resample workflow. As you can see, like I like to use the rolling sampler and pull stuff out. But at the same time, from a starting point, you can get some really cool things that you can draw from. And Drambo is just a lovely tool for so many different use cases. I mean, it has like Fab Filter. We have Butter Synth, which is basically your, and you got to pay for a lot of these, but uh, this is basically Vital slash Serum. So two wavetables, sample engine, FM, granulator, um, matrix, control, effects, all of these. We've got so many different tools, um, lots of really cool and interesting things that are just for iPad in general. So I would say that if you are on iOS, I would definitely say give Drambo a try because that's kind of like your DAW, that's kind of like your host or like your, your main sound design engine driver. There's still not a solution to making like actual full tracks, I don't believe. Um, you can use FL Studio, but it doesn't support plugins, and then you can use Logic Pro for iPad, but it's extremely buggy and very frustrating to work with, especially if you work like how I do. It's more meant for people that just wanna pull up a MIDI thing and you know do a couple of samples that are already ready to go. I wouldn't call it professional by any means. You can do resampling within Koala Sampler, but it's kind of a pain in the butt because you can't apply third-party VSTs. Yeah, it's, hmm. I don't know, maybe the way to go would be to make some kind of drum-esque things and use something like Dawn Sampler because you can actually utilize, now I'm just rambling, but you can use, um, what's it called, VSTs on your racks. So we can go to effects and with this we can start to apply like actual third-party plugins which is really cool so if I go here we can go to tools uh, effects manager and then there's this somewhere in here there's a, a way to actually start adding VSTs uh, I guess you can bust stuff and send that to where you want it to um, but where is that now I'm confused import projects configuration help there we go. So we have to hit this twice. So now we can actually upload stuff. So let's say we want to use things like, I don't know, FabFilter. Oops. We just go and find the developer. 
we can use something like Saturn 2 in order to make our drums fatter and get super cool stuff through whatever we import here. And the thing that this is missing though that would be really cool that is not present within wait sorry the thing that's missing in this that's present within koala sampler is that you can drag this in here and actually like morph them and combine them so it's weird and i've done a lot of like investment and a lot of experimentation to try to figure out what the best workflow is with ipad but so far drambo has definitely been the best you have to rethink about doing a couple of things but boy is it worth it so anyways hopefully that was interesting to you i'm gonna go ahead and save this rack and um yeah, I don't know. If you want to see more Drambo comment or content, let me know because I do enjoy doing sound design while sitting on my couch and then like being like, look how cool I did or look how cool I am from some nerd stuff that I made. But anyways, um, check out the master classes if you want to on how to do this from scratch within Bitwig uh, or Faceplant and uh, leave a comment if you don't mind. Tell me how your day went or I don't know, what are your plans for the weekend if you're watching this as soon as this comes out. Thanks everybody. I'll see you in the next one.